Nathan Zagura here with another playoff edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospital. Today we're going to look at the Pittsburgh Steelers defense and Browns fans, I hate to say it, but this is one of the best defenses in the NFL. The Steelers, the number three overall defense in terms of yards allowed per game, number three in terms of scoring defense. But that's not where they are at their best. They're at their best when the other team tries to throw the football. The Steelers are number one in the NFL with 56 sacks. They are number one in the NFL with 18 interceptions. They are number one in the NFL in terms of opposing quarterback rating, and they are number one in the NFL in terms of opposing quarterback completion percentage. So this is a difficult team to throw the football on, and the Browns will have to be stout up front, which is going to be tough, obviously, without Joel Batonio. They've got Cam Hayward. He's a pro bowler on the defensive line. They've got Stephon Tude, who had a career-high 10 sacks on the defensive line and they've got TJ Watt. TJ Watt led the NFL this year with 15 sacks. He led the NFL with 26 tackles for loss and he led the NFL with 41 quarterback hits. The last person to lead the NFL in all three of those categories, well, it's happened four times in this decade. Once was Aaron Donald, three times were his brother JJ Watt, all four were the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year. So the Browns are going to have their handful up front, but the Steelers defense that I mentioned also leads the league in interceptions. They have an excellent secondary led by Minka Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, Hayward, and Watt, they are all three going to the Pro Bowl this year for the Steelers. Fitzpatrick, four interceptions on the season to lead the team, and he is one of five Steelers, five with multiple interceptions this season. If there's one Achilles heel that the Browns can try to exploit, it is the run defense of the Steelers because this is a great red zone defense. They don't give up big plays. As I said, they lead the league in turnovers force per game. So where can you get them? It's running the football. They finished the season as the number 11 rush defense overall. But over the last four games of the season, they give up 144 yards per game, 1.25 touchdowns per game, and allowed 4.5 yards per carry. So the Browns are going to have to really rely on that run. Again, tough without Joel Batonio, but they've got to find a way. Here's a stat that gives me a lot of hope going into this game for the Browns rushing attack. Over the first 13 games of the season, only three teams running backs combined for 100 yards rushing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Three out of 13. Only one team in the first 13 games saw their running backs rush for more than 100 yards and rush for a touchdown against the Steelers. Over the last three games of the season, however, all three teams had their running backs run for more than 100 yards, and all three teams, including the Browns in Week 17, saw their running backs also rush for a touchdown. They call him the Steel Curtain. There's no doubt about it. One of the best defenses in the NFL, and it all starts with those guys up front. Watt, Hayward, to it. And on the back end, they've got ball hawks. So the Browns need to take care of the football and establish their will with the run and do a great job of keeping Baker Mayfield clean so that he can get time to throw and dissect the Steelers. It's a great defense, but the Browns are a great offense, and I believe they will be up to the task. For complete coverage of this game and all things Cleveland Browns, keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. This has been a playoff edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals.